What's up guys, I'm back with another YouTube video and this time I'm going to be running Lava Clone. It's a very fun deck to use, a lot of you guys might have used it before, I've seen other people use it. It was actually used quite a lot in CRL, also it's used in Top Ladder. So there are some counters to it, like Nato and Poison, but you can often outcycle and beat them anyways. And your main pushes are going to be in double elixir because even though it's a 3.6 lava hound deck which is relatively cheap still you tend to get most of your damage in double because that's when you can build most of your pushes and get like a good clone off so I'm at 62 19 right now and I'm gonna be playing three games to try to get 6300 and let's go ahead and search for a first game <clears throat> I just want to thank you all again for all the support recently. We hit 5,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So I just want to thank every single one of you who subbed recently. It really means a lot. I think we gained like 1,000 in one day or something. And a lot of you have mentioned that I've actually been playing on stretched res or whatever. So that's because I have an iPhone XR, so the proportions might be a little off. But honestly, to me, it doesn't look like it's too stretched in my opinion. But... Since a lot of you brought it up and have been like kind of asking about it, I'm going to uh, try to fix it for you guys so it's not a problem anymore. But to me, it didn't seem like it was such a big deal. Anyways, um, so he goes in with his Mega Minion and he has his minions out of cycle. So let's go ahead and Lava Hound in the back because he has his main um, like air counters out of cycle. Those might be his only air counters actually. So let's bats here, try to kill the Mega Minion, because then he has nothing to kill the Lava Hound. And there we go, we take it out. Let's Flying Machine. We don't want to get put the... I didn't want to put the Flying Machine there, because then he could, like, Fireball and kill everything, which would be not good at all. Okay, he goes with a Tombstone. So let's um, Snowball that. And then I'm thinking here, what we should do is just not build anything up anymore, like not play anything else. And just cycle cards in the back and then build up another Lava Hound push. Next opportunity we get. I'm thinking maybe I should play a Lava Hound at the bridge. Because he doesn't have his Mega Minion cycle. He just used it. And like I said, his only air counters are Minions and Mega Minion. When he does not have those in cycle, he has, I think, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Except maybe Fireball and Arrows that hit air. But besides that, nothing. So we have... Our baby drag lava hound down let's actually go ahead and clone it kind of weird tombstone not sure why he did that and look at that the clone baby drag splashed onto the minion so they're almost dead and we end up taking the tower so that was a great first push there and let's go ahead and baby drag set up another push other lane because he's gonna go for this lane obviously because he has it halfway uh the tower halfway killed anyways so we're gonna pressure other lanes so he has to switch to this lane which is good for us he's probably gonna arrow there's the arrows and there's the balloon so that balloon unfortunately for him ends up going in front of the lava hound so that flying machine is going to be able to hit it and now we can just um play some defense here okay so he does have lightning so this is actually guys an example of a pretty easy matchup for us because he only has two air counters the minions and mega minion and also lightning is um i would say it's pretty irrelevant in this matchup for him so very nice pretty easy first win he's laughing as you guys can tell obviously not happy about his loss here and you know i i mean i guess you know he has the right to complain it is lava clone right a lot of people do hate lava clone but anyways we're two wins away from 6300 so let's go ahead and search for another game um and again i really hope you guys are enjoying these uh ladder videos because a lot of you guys i should read in the comments you guys really enjoy these ladder videos over like the gc videos etc but still, I, I'm thinking of doing a Pro vs. Pro sometime. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. And also, leave suggestions like in the comments of who you guys want me to verse in a Pro vs. Pro. So we're taking a while to find a game here. Hopefully, we find a game pretty soon. Um, just listen to this music while we wait. There we go. All right, so we found a game against High. Um... Alright, so let's go ahead and if he doesn't play anything, let's just split bats in the back because I do not have a Lava Hound in cycles, so we're going to be having to make the first move. And he's not going to do anything, so let's go ahead and snowball. And now that we have our Lava Hound in rotation, let's just wait until Double Elixir even. We might even have to wait until then 
Nope, he goes in with a minor. Let's go ahead and Lumberjack. We did catch it because it was obvious he was going to play it in the safe spot where he can't NATO and activate King. So, after he has his minor and Goblin getting out of rotation, I'm thinking of just sending a Lava Hound in. He, of course, might be able to pressure other lane, but with his minor out of cycle, that makes me think he's not going to be able to pressure too easily. So, yeah, he just goes with a Giant Skeleton in the back. That doesn't give me a lot of information about what he's running. It's probably just going to be a bait deck with Giant Skeleton. That's my guess because he has the Goblin Gang. All right, so he goes in with the Zap. Really well played Zap on his part. But let's go ahead and try to pressure him here because he did go in with that Giant Skeleton, which is like six Elixir in the back. And he does have NATO. So NATO is going to be kind of annoying for us to deal with. Let's go ahead and clone here. And do, do we hit the Lumberjack? Yes, we do. Look at all that, guys. He doesn't have a NATO in cycle. I think that's going to do a lot of damage, potentially even take the tower unless he zaps or something. He gives the oops. He knows he messed up. So that's a perfect example, guys, when you play against NATO. After they NATO, just clone because they often will not have anything to stop that. And he had a zap out of cycle because he used it on the, um, the Skeleton Army. So that was, I think, a perfect use of my clone there, knowing that he didn't have the uh, NATO in cycle. And also, I he just used the zap, so I had a feeling he didn't have it in the cycle. So that worked like really nicely for me. And right here, he's probably going to um, zap the Skarmy again. We'll have to see what he does, though. Yep, he does. So let's go ahead and play Bats. And then let's Snowball. Unfortunately, that Balloon is going to, I think, get a hit. Wait, maybe it doesn't? Oh, wow. That was kind of close, guys. It did end up getting a hit. Um... But he does have Inferno, so he has Inferno NATO, so he definitely has a lot of counters, guys, to our uh, Lava Hound and Clone. So that is kind of unfortunate, but we did take his left tower, so I'm confident we can take his right. And we do catch the Lumberjack, so we're making him work for this right tower, which is good, which is what we want. So he's going to need a bit of damage. He needs basically a Balloon to connect, because death damage is not going to be enough. Let's go ahead and go with Bats here, and then Clone. Hopefully we clone the Lava Hound. Yeah, it almost went out of range, it looked like. Let's go with the Skarmy in the middle here. He does go in with Nato. All right, with only 15 seconds to go, he has to get something off here. So he's going to have... Okay, guys, yes, it's in a minor and only eight seconds to go. I'm going to try to catch it in the back. There it is. I knew... I had a feeling he was going to switch up the placement. Let's Snowball here. Three seconds to go. Yeah, he does not have enough time to get the tower. So there we go. I think we played that really, really well because he had Nato. He had Inferno. He had a lot of answers to a lot of Hound and Clone, but we still managed to break through and get the win. So now we're one win away from 6,300, and we're top uh, 500 now, top 450 actually. Not bad. Let's go ahead and search for our hopefully last game. If we end up losing this, I might play a couple more afterwards. We'll see. Um, it's probably take like 10 seconds or so to find a game. We'll see. Because the higher up you go, the longer the search times are. And once again, I'm not editing these uh, videos. So I'm not going to be editing the search times out of the video, but they're not too long, which is good. But I'll be editing videos again shortly once, um, probably in like a week or so. All right, so we have Lava Hound in our starting rotation. So that means we're going to be waiting for him to make the first move. And he decides to send in a miner. Not in the safe spot, so kind of interesting, because if we had NATO, we would have been able to activate King. But our deck doesn't have NATO. Let's go ahead and split bats. I don't want to Lava Hound yet. I don't feel comfortable because I don't know what he's running. So he's going to have Mortar. Let's go with the Flying Machine right on top of that. Is he going to Fireball? He does not Fireball, so he's just going to let that go. Mortar shouldn't... Oh, it got another hit. That's unfortunate. Um, it always gets that hit when you don't think it does. So let's go with the Lava Hound here. He might pressure with a Miner. We'll see what he does. If he has, okay, like I said, if he had Rascals, I was going to say, if he had Rascals, this is going to be a little annoying, but we do have Baby Drag, we do have some answers to it, but um, those Rascal Girls are going to be very pesky. I think that Snowball might have been a bit of a mistake, guys. I'm going to have to Skarmy here, I really want to protect that Flying Machine so it doesn't die to the minions. Okay, that was actually a very valuable Skarmy. It ended up taking care of the Miner, and it also made sure that Flying Machine didn't die, and the Flying Machine gets, okay, one hit. All right, I think in this matchup, Double Elixir is going to be our time where we build our main pushes, because Mortar cycles very, very quickly. So in single, 
we're gonna have a uh, tough time breaking through, but we're very close to double right now, only 14 seconds to go. So I'm gonna try to build a push and then clone it. So that means Lumberjack in the back here, and then we baby dragon, and then to clone and hope we can um, break through his defenses here, because those rascals are gonna be very brutal. They're gonna defend like for him a lot, but that baby dragon's alive luckily. And we end up, yeah, on the tower. Because like I said, when you get your first push going, they sometimes just can't stop it. And it ends up overwhelming them. It's just insane. Um, I'm thinking about, do I go for the three crown? Now, nah, let's just go other lane because he has all that there. So if I end up lava hounding uh, in the back there, he would end up having the rascal girls already there on defense. And then he could like easily stop it. So I'm thinking going this lane is the way to go. Interesting, he's actually going for the king tower. Um, let's go ahead and clone here and um, Let's fly machine here. Okay. He goes with a fireball on that good fireball But look at that the cloned lava pups are still on the tower and we have uh, the flying machine coming in We have everything. We're just overwhelming him um, And I think we got him here and if we don't we can just build another push and just you know Just you know keep spamming him basically and nope baby dragon locks on we end up getting the win and he's mad guys so like as you can basically tell right there i mean from that game you just keep you know waiting for the opportunity to clone and then once you you know just get a lava hound down lumberjack baby dragon clone it all and it's double elixir and you just keep you know spamming like flying machine bats whatever they can't stop it this is why it's just such a fun deck to play and if you like making your opponents mad that's another reason to play this deck. Um, but I'm at 6310 right now, and we're at 354 in the world. So not bad at all, guys. I think we'll call it a video here. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. And comment below what you guys want to see next. I'm thinking I might next video do a Pro v Pro. Let me know um, what you guys think about that. Maybe I'll do another ladder video. I'm open to all suggestions, though. Um, so with that being said, thanks again until next time, guys.